The Nuggets are out of their minds with what you're about to see and frankly, don't give a damn. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Finding a raw obsession with obliteration, it's quite literally unfair what these kids from Denver are doing right now. The Nuggets have really pulled out every card in the deck in order to obliterate anyone in their path during this mercilessly overpowering playoff run. Taking out Anthony Edwards, Carl Towns, and the T-Wolves in a gentleman's sweep, they would then proceed to outlast a Kevin Durant, Devin Booker-fueled Phoenix team after losing two on the road in games three and four, ultimately putting the Suns to bed in six. They'd cap off a Western Conference masterclass by shockingly sweeping LeBron AD and a revitalized Lakers squad in the conference finals. Now up three to one in the NBA finals, let's break down the game four film to find out exactly how this Mile High City system is destroying anyone not merely placed in its path, but in its vicinity. Delay Chicago sees Jokic set the flare for Murray, who receives the DHO from Gordon, putting Love on his heels. Kevin's forced to pick his poison to either put a body on Jamal or Aaron. He opts for the latter, and Murray banks it over the smaller Vincent. After this late shot clock handoff from Joker, Jamal gets the switch onto Adebayo, and even after five bounces while maneuvering through traffic and changing direction, this is just damn polished three-point shot creation in its purest form. In transition, Adebayo picks up Brown on the right wing, so Jokic just rim runs to force Struess onto him and drop steps for the easy floater. Miami again doesn't communicate on this angle 45 with Murray and Jokic running the two-man game and Gordon slipping to the basket, as after Aaron kicks it out following the entry from Jamal, it's unclear whether Martin or Struess are meant to be recovering and Bruce drains the spot up. Horn's double rip sees Gordon roll, Jokic pop, and Porter Jr. cut back door. The set works to perfection by drawing three defenders onto Murray, who finds Porter Jr. On this high-low action, watch how accurate this floater pass from Joker is. He barely gets any of his lower body into it, but still makes it a pinpoint dime through traffic. Martin does a good job at denying this handoff from Gordon to Porter in the left corner, so Joker signals for the Aaron Iso, and the former Magic number one option drives into his jab step before beasting his way to the cup for the and one. Denver runs Chin as the one and three and KCP and Porter cross paths in the right corner as a decoy, Bam overhelps on the Murray drive, and the pick and pop is given full reins. Miami goes to a 3-2 zone, trying to neutralize Denver's motion before it can fully initiate, opting to trap Murray at the logo, but it's hard to do this when everyone on the floor is a skilled passer, including KCP, who fakes the overhead elbow entry to Jokic, then whips the floater pass inside for the cutting Gordon. Picture-perfect connection occurs out of this 5-4 ball screen, like we saw a possession of in my last Nuggets film breakdown. Jokic is gonna body off Bam, hang in the air, and spot the backdoor cutter in Porter Jr., who's wide open under the bucket for the flush. Next, they utilize their horns duck action, which is similar to the horns double rip from earlier. Instead, though, both Jokic and Gordon pop, but similar to the double rip, Porter again ducks in, this time to receive the Murray hang in the air and drop off pass. Delay two-man keep action, which is just like Delay Chicago, except Jokic keeps it instead of handing it off and attacks downhill himself. Great Euro step extension and fend off from Joker to finish it. But speaking of Chicago action, this next play is called Through Delay Chicago. So instead of Murray flying over to receive the DHO after getting the flare from Jokic, he cuts through the paint and Gordon spots him with a bouncer. Denver goes back to Chin, with Pope and Porter crossing paths as the decoy in the corner, while Murray and Joker execute another pick and pop. As the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So for their next bucket, they go right back to that action, but with it instead starting with a boomerang pass between Murray and Jokic, while Porter and Pope are in the opposite corner, same result. A few possessions later, Miami gets beat with that playset yet again as they refuse to bring the proper strong side help and Murray pulls up from the mid-range. If you're Spolstra, you simply can't let that action beat you on essentially three straight possessions. Boomerang versus switching playset sees Bruce send the entry to Jokic, get the boomerang pass back from Jokic, attack Adebayo off the dribble, collapse the help of Lowry, find Christian on the weak side, and Aaron follows up the miss. 
Another horns high low sees Murray swing it to Jokic with a mid-air bullet, with Miami seeming overly concerned with the two Browns off the ball. Gordon finds an opening at the basket, and Jokic instantly spots him for a beautiful reverse lob. Inverted Hawk pin cross action sees Murray set the UCLA screen for the undervalued Jeff Green, then Jamal springs up to receive the Gordon handoff and lets it fly from 30. Wide Curl sets up a Murray drive who floats an entry pass into the dunker spot where Gordon takes his time to gather and beast through for the finish. Denver still finds success out of this double drag without Gordon even setting a second screen as Murray gets into the heart of the defense, draws three before finding Uncle Jeff in the corner. For a breakdown on how Bruce Brown dominated the fourth quarter, go watch the video on your screen. In terms of the defensive side of the ball, I'll again save an in-depth breakdown of that for another Nuggets video. A few quick tidbits for you though are that Denver's gone from the 15th ranked defense during the regular season to the 5th best defense during the playoffs. Despite Jokic being known for some reason as a liability on this end, he's leading the playoffs in deflections, loose balls recovered, contested shots, and blocks per game. I think it's time to start labeling the two-time MVP as an above-average stopper. Defensively speaking, here was Joker on the Nugs' improved communication. And the communication is probably the biggest important key for a successful defense. I guess, uh, how have you seen that grow with this with this core unit over the years? And I guess, how much pride do you take in being a communicator on defense? I mean, I think it means a lot, you know, especially in the playoffs, you can see the plays before you can talk to it, uh, know what is coming, uh, even the in, even the first game, from the first game, you can see the, how we are as a, as a team better in communication and uh, uh, maybe reading the plays and knowing when to help and when not to help. Um, you know, I think we are we are growing even now in in the finals. That every every game we are better and better, and I think that's that's probably the first and the most important thing uh, in defense. If you enjoyed that breakdown, help the channel reach 100k by subscribing. Appreciate your support. This was your boy D Flow, and I'll see you next video.